Today I'm showing you how to swap the scroll encoder in your mouse. A lot of people have been asking about encoders lately, so I figure it's time for this video. This is a G703 I worked on this morning. The scroll encoder is basically fully dead, barely scrolled either up or down, no matter how much you scrolled on it. So what I'm doing here is adding my own solder to the factory solder to get things flowing. And then I'm going to remove it and then put my own solder back on. The factory solder is notoriously stubborn on pretty much all mice. Logitech is actually the easiest to work with in my experience. So I just like to get as, as much of the factory solder off as I can to make things easy to work on. And here I'm just clipping the pins, clipping the legs off the pins, and then I'm gonna actually cut the scroll encoder twice to make it three separate pieces. So it's gonna be each leg and then the main sort of encoder piece. So this makes it so you can remove it a lot easier. There's no reusing this. Scroll encoders are really difficult to get out if you are trying to reuse them or get them out in one piece. So this method makes it really easy, but you do have to sacrifice the encoder. So that's the middle piece, came right out. Just heat up the three pieces. And with your tweezers, just heat up the solder for each leg and it should pull right out. The legs aren't electrical. They're basically just a spring that, that holds the whole encoder to the PCB. Here's the three pieces that were removed, two legs and then the rest of it. Here I'm just taking out as much of the solder that was left over as I can. You're gonna have to put the new encoder in somehow, so you gotta remove the solder, especially from the three little pins, because those need to slide in easy. And then the, the legs you can kind of just press in. It requires a bit of force. It's like actually kind of scary how much force you need to, to slide them in because those two legs on either side are basically acting as a spring to hold the whole thing down to the PCB. So what I'm doing here is similar to how I do my switches. I'm gonna add solder to one pin, and then make sure it's flush, move it if needed, and then add the rest of the solder to everything else. Once you're done with that and it's looking all good, you're done. So that's a new scroll encoder. Got a new kale red core encoder. Hopefully this should last a long time. Solder job looks perfect. Didn't even clean that up. Not gonna clean it up. No real need. Here's a quick test to prove to you that it works. If you like this kind of thing, please sub to the channel, like the video, visit my website and style win. If you want me to do this for you, you can hire me to do so on my website. Peace.